Hi, third grade. We are here with the new anthology text. This anthology text consists of two poems. The first poem is titled, The Winningest Woman of the Iditarod Dog Sled Race, Susan Butcher, 1956 through 2006, four-time winner. The second poem that we will be reading is called, The Brave Ones. Let's take a look at the summary, both in English and in Spanish, so that we can learn a little bit more about these two poems. These poems are about people who inspire us with their courage. One poem is a narrative written in free verse. A narrative poem tells a story. A free verse poem does not always rhyme and has lines of different lengths. The winningest woman of the Iditarod dog sled race tells the story of Susan Butcher, a woman who raced in Alaska's biggest dog sled race. The other poem is also a free verse. In The Brave Ones, the poet tells of the courage and bravery of firefighters. The winningest woman of the Idirara dog sled race and The Brave Ones. Estos poemas tratan sobre personas que nos inspiran con su valentía. Uno de los poemas es un poema narrativo escrito en verso libre. Un poema narrativo cuenta una historia. Un poema en verso libre no siempre rima y tiene versos de distinta longitud. The Winningest Woman of the Iderara Doth Sled Race cuenta la historia de Susan Butcher, una mujer que participó en la carrera de trineos tirados por perros más grande que hubo en Alaska. El otro poema también está escrito en verso libre. En The Brave Ones, el poeta habla sobre el coraje y la valentía de los bomberos. Now let's take a look at the essential question. How can others inspire us? Read about people who are courageous. Let's get started. I rode the whole Iditarod from Anchorage to Nome. The husky sleigh, eleven day, I did a rod to Nome. Two moose can cause a traffic jam. There is no word for moose for scram. And over trails of ice and snow, no musher knows which way to go. The weather, forty-two below, could freeze the whiskers in a beard. The huskies up front disappeared. And though it sounds a little weird, okay, you're right, extremely odd, I did, I did, I did a rod. A bitter cold, I did a rod. My sled slid the I did a rod from Anchorage to Nome. J. Patrick Lewis. J. Patrick Lewis is the author of this poem. Typically with poems, we'll see the author's name at the end of the poem instead of next to the title. So this poem is all about a dog sled race that takes place in Alaska, which is one of the 50 states in America. This race is called the Iditarod. Do you see how the person is standing on a sled? And then they have dogs that pull the sled. In the race, you have a bunch of people on sleds with packs of dogs pulling them. The person and their dogs who make it to Nome first are the winners of the Iditarod. As I'm looking at this photograph, I see there's lots of snow everywhere and it looks very cold. I can tell it's very cold because look how this person is all bundled up. They have a fur-lined hood up over their face and their face has goggles protecting their eyes. Not only do we have evidence in the photograph that it's cold, but the poem also says that it's 42 below. That means it is negative 42 degrees. The poem continues to give us all these examples that helps me to visualize just how cold it is. It says that the whiskers could freeze. It also says a bitter cold Iditarod. 
In addition to it being very cold, the narrator talks about how there could be a traffic jam with moose and that sometimes the trails are iced over or snowed over and the musher doesn't know which way to go. The narrator of this poem realizes how challenging this race is, and in this line they're celebrating. They say, I did, I did, I did a rod. Even with all those challenges, Susan Butcher was able to win this race four times. Isn't that amazing? Based on what we just read and what we just discussed about the challenges of the Iditarod race, what is the theme of this poem? The theme of this poem is that people can do difficult or impossible things. Now let's check out our next poem. This poem is called The Brave Ones. As we listen to this poem being read aloud, try to think of what the theme of this poem might be. The Brave Ones We hear the bell clanging, we come in a hurry. We come with our ladders and hoses, our hoses, we come in a hurry. To fight the fire, the furious fire, to smother the smoke, the smoke. We don't have much time, we climb, we spray. We are the brave ones who save, who save. We are the brave ones who save. Eloise Greenfield Eloise Greenfield is the author of this poem. There were some details that stuck out to me while we were listening to this poem. One was that they come in a hurry. This stuck out to me because I see it repeated down here. So that's showing me that there's this urgency that they're in a hurry. I also see down here it says we don't have much time and it says we are the brave ones who save. It says that twice. So again, when I'm seeing this repetition, it's showing me that this is really urgent or this is very important to the poem. When I see lines repeated in a poem, this shows me that these are essential ideas to the theme of the poem. What is the theme of this poem? The theme of this poem is that firefighters are brave. We read that they don't waste any time, that they're in a hurry and they're fighting fire. People normally run away from fire, but firefighters, they run toward the fire to put it out and to save people. Repeating words and phrases such as hoses, We come in a hurry, fire, smoke, and we are the brave ones who save, emphasize important words and actions. It also gives the poem a rushed, breathless rhythm to match the pace of the firefighters. Now let's take a look at the make connections. It asks, what words did the poets use to show that Susan Butcher and the firefighters are inspiring? This brings us back to the essential question. Well, the first poem says things like winningest, bitter cold, and I did, I did, I did a rod. The second poem includes hurry, furious fire, and brave ones. These inspiring words are found in each title and throughout the poem. These words describe the difficulties of racing the Iditarod, and they describe the speed and bravery of firefighters. This next question is a text-to-world connection. It asks, why do people like to read poems about courage and bravery? I think people like to read poems about courage and bravery because it inspires them to be courageous and brave also. It also helps me to appreciate all of the things that these people do. All right, boys and girls, that finishes our anthology text. Thanks for watching and learning with me today. Bye for now.